section of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a truss bridge for its modal analysis. We will see how to find the natural frequency of a truss bridge. Everyone is aware of a truss bridge. It is made up of trusses. It is a bridge which is going to connect two ends below which you can have either some water flowing a river or you can have some vehicles moving below that. These kind of bridges are also used for railways wherein you have railways passing over the same river and in that case you can have a truss bridge also and on the platform of the bridge you can have the railway tracks being placed. So this is just a very common example. We will see what are the natural frequencies of this bridge. Such kind of bridges when there is load applied on it obviously one of the natural frequencies can be tapped and hence there can be resonance in the bridge which could lead to the failure. So we will just find out in this example how to find out the natural frequencies of the bridge. We will go up to six mode frequencies. So let's start by double clicking on modal. I will not change the engineering data. I leave it to structural steel. I will go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry. Units I'll choose as millimeter, XY plane, look at. I'll go to sketching, I'll choose polyline. Next I'll choose a line. And join these points. I'll just draw a straight line here. I'll go to modify, trim. I'll trim this line. I'll go back to draw line. I'll join these two points. Next, I'll draw line from here to this line here straight. From here to this line straight. And from here to the same. Next, I'll go to dimensions and I'll give dimensions to these lines. Say it's 85 each. So I'll give this as 30. If you want, you can also give these dimensions and make them equidistant. For example, from this point to this point, you can give it as 42.5. Once I give those dimensions, the rest are set and they have become all equidistant. Next, I'll go to concept, lines from sketches. I'll choose sketch 1, apply. Generate. You can see lines have been formed. Next, I'll give some cross section to this. Say I give a cross section as circular. The dimension I give as 0.5. Next, I'll go to one part, one body. I'll go to line body and I'll choose this cross section. So, this completes my geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, I'll change sizing from coarse to fine and update. Next I'll go to analysis settings and I'll apply fixed on these two ends. Then I'll go to solution and solve. If you go to analysis settings, you can see here maximum mode is 6. Hence, when I went to the solution, I got 6 modes of frequency. So, here I'll right click, select all, create mode shape results, and go to solution and solve it. 
I can see first six natural frequencies of the body. This is the first one. You can see here how your bridge is going to deform when it is subjected to some amount of load or this kind of a frequency I can see. This is the first natural frequency of the body. This is the second natural frequency of the body that is 217.87 Hz. This is the third frequency that is 280.76 Hz. This is the fourth one. You can see as the frequency increases, the movement of the bridge also becomes more This is the fifth natural frequency that is 600.87 Hz and this is the last one that we have found 828.15 Hz. So these are the six natural frequencies. If suppose any of the natural frequency of the body is tapped then the bridge will show a motion like this. I hope you have understood how to analyze the truss bridge for its modal analysis and find its natural frequency. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.